Who cares? Look, I'm like I really like I've said, I've been through some stuff in my life. I've been through some real, real stuff. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Before Hunter Biden would have to defend his position as the member of the Burisma board in the Ukraine. They know who my dad is. My dad doesn't have to defend me. My dad only has to love me. Okay. Before Hunter Biden would become a target of Donald Trump's wraith in his attempt to prevent Hunter's father, Joe Biden, from becoming the next president of the United States. Three and a half million, president. Joe. That is simply Why did not he deserve true. three and a half million it from did, Moscow? Look, before Hunter Biden would see his father become the 46th president-elect of the United States of America. America! America! I just love saying America! It's just so fun to say. Now, Hunter Biden is an American lawyer and investment advisor who is probably best known for being the second son of the newly crowned president-elect of the United States. Of course, we're talking about Joe Biden. Now, since the early months of 2019, well, Hunter, he's been in the middle of a whole ton of conspiracy theories, pushed, of course, by the one, the only, Mr. Donald Trump. Now, all of this is an attempt to discredit Joe's ascension to the White House. Now, there have been stories about emails, embarrassing pictures, dating his brother's widowed wife, and a whole bunch of name dropping when it comes to the country of Ukraine. Now, Hunter's 50 year long personal life has created tension for his father's political aspirations for years now, including drug scandals and illegitimate children. But despite all this, well, Hunter, he now gets to celebrate as he watches his father become the 46th president of the United States. Or so we hope. I mean, this election, it never seems to be coming to an end. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it again with a brand new video, this time taking a look at the come up of Hunter Biden prior to fame, here for you of course on Before They Were Famous. Now you guys seem to like our Before They Were Famous on Joe Biden, but not so many of you guys cared for our update of the rich life on Donald Trump. Now I suppose we could make one for Joe Biden, you can also check out our recent drop on Kamala Harris. Alright, follow us over on Instagram, links down below, now let's get into this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Robert Hunter Biden was born on February 4th, 1970 in Wilmington, Delaware. Now he is the second son of Joe and Neela Biden and from a very early age, well Hunter, he's dealt with some devastating personal loss. Now it began when his dad Joe, he was first running for a Delaware Senate seat in 1972. Now during that time, his entire family was involved in a horrific car accident that killed his wife, Hunter's mom and baby daughter Naomi while also sending Joe's two young sons, Bo and Hunter, to the hospital with severe injuries. His father, Joe, took his first oath of office at age 30 in the hospital room where his young sons were recovering. Now, Joe's daily 90-minute train commute from Washington, D.C. to Delaware to care for his sons, well, it earned him the nickname of Amtrak Joe. Now, after raising his boys on his own for a handful of years, well, Joe married Jill Jacobs in 1977, and she became Hunter and Bo's stepmother. Hunter's half-sister, Ashley, she was born soon after in 1981. Now, like his father, Will Hunter, he attended Archmere Academy in Delaware, and then he moved on to graduate from Georgetown University in 1992. Now, Hunter worked odd jobs to pay for his schooling, like parking cars for events and unloading 60-pound boxes of frozen beef. But it was also during this time as an undergraduate that Hunter, well, he began to move away from his father's pristine image. Now, according to an interview with The New Yorker, well, Hunter, he began to ramp up his social drinking habit, and at this point in his life, he took to smoking Marlboro Reds. Oh, God, not so bad. But then he would occasionally take the odd bump of cocaine. Now, some would say this is normal post-secondary school behavior, but it's a little harder an image to keep quiet when your dad, well, he's making big moves in the nation's capital. After graduation, he would spend a year in the Jesuit Volunteer Corps and work in Portland, Oregon, where he met Kathleen Bouley, who he would marry in 1993 before returning to his education at Yale Law School in 1996. By the following year in 1997, Will Hunter had begun to work as an executive vice president at MBNA Bank, earning more than $100,000 a year in salary, but he greatly disliked the stiff corporate culture. In fact, he told the New Yorker, if you forgot to wear your MBNA label pin, someone would stop you in the halls. Now his position in this bank, it raised more than a few eyebrows considering that MBNA, well, they're well known for being one of Joe's massive donors to his political campaigns over the years. Now, after he stayed at the bank for close to five years, and then in 1998, well, he reached out to a connection about getting a job in presidential Bill Clinton's administration. Now, if I know anything, party boys, they know how to find one another. I did not have sexual <laughs> relations with that woman. <laughs> I just, 
Sometimes I just watch that clip just for to giggles. I mean, <laughs> not a bad liar. Now, Hunter, he was appointed to the Department of Commerce by Bill and served from 1998 to 2011 as a director focusing on e-commerce policy issues. He moved his family to Washington, D.C. and began to establish himself as a mover and shaker, even though his salary at the time, well, it was barely enough to pay for his home, his children's schooling, and his high society lifestyle that he was just getting accustomed to living in D.C. In 2001, he co-founded the federal lobbyist firm Old Dacker, Biden and Bel Air LLP. It was also around this time that he made his first real attempt at getting sober when he entered rehab in 2003. Now speaking on the matter, well, he told The New Yorker, look, everybody faces pain. Everybody has trauma. There's addiction in every family. I was in that darkness. I was in that tunnel and it's a never ending tunnel. You don't get rid of it, you figure out how to deal with it. When Barack Obama asked Joe Biden to join his presidential ticket in 2008, well, Hunter, he resigned from his firm to avoid anything like a conflict of interest. He told The New Yorker, I wanted my father to have a clean slate. I didn't want to limit him in any way. In September of 2008, well, Hunter, he launched a consulting firm, Seneca Global Advisors. And then in June of 2009, well, he co-founded the private equity firm, Rosemount Seneca Partners. Now, through these companies, Will Hunter, he would form connections with business figures in China and Russia. Now, I know another guy who loves to spend some time in Russia, especially in them hotel rooms. Wow, that oh, is that, really... You're looking very Russian. That is really nice. Now I, like I feel, that. now I belong. The glamour of traveling in the Russian provinces. <laughs> Now these international business dealings, they would come back to haunt him, but first in 2012, at the age of 44 years old, well, Hunter, he enlisted in the Navy Reserves. An interesting career choice, to say the least. Now the Navy would discharge him in less than two years after he tested positive for cocaine use. Something that Hunter, well, he would later confirm, he said in a statement. It was the honor of my life to serve in the US Navy, and I deeply regret and embarrassed that my actions led to my administrative discharge. But hey, it was probably one hell of a night. Now in 2014, Will Hunter, he fell back on his international connections and he joined the board of Purism Holdings, despite the fact that his father was in the middle of adopting a policy to crack down on corruption in the Ukraine. Awkward situation. No, it really isn't. And the reason is, is because I know where I stand with my dad. I know where I stand with my family. But Hunter's biggest loss was yet to come. In 2015, he lost his brother Bo to cancer. Now, after his brother's death, well, Hunter tried to clean up his life by picking up yoga, but he also continued to drink heavily. The first memory I have is of lying in a hospital bed next to my brother, holding my hand, staring into my eyes, saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. Around this time in his life, well, Joe, he would check on his son regularly. Now, Hunter, he would always tell his dad that he was doing okay, but one day, Joe, he showed up at his home unannounced and told his son that he needed him in his life and he would do anything he can to make him well again. So in fall of 2016, Hunter rearranged to once more enter rehab, this time in Sedona, Arizona. Now, he barely made it there during an unexpected layover in LA. Well, Hunter, he bought crack several times and after days of not sleeping, well, he actually lost control of his car driving near Palm Springs. He had to call the rehab center to come and pick him up. And when asked to comment on the matter, well, Joe Biden, he told CNN, Bo was my soul, Hunter is my heart. Hunter has been through some tough times, but he's fighting. After divorcing his first wife, well, things got stranger when Hunter began dating his brother Bo's widow. I'm talking Haley Biden. Now, Hunter was said that the two of them, they were connected over their shared grief when it came to Bo's tragic death. Now, the couple, they tried to keep the relationship a secret, but Joe, well, he eventually found out in absolutely the worst way when page six, they called him to comment on the story. Nonetheless, Joe, he never missed a beat and he continued to support his son where he stated, we are lucky that Hunter and Haley found each other as they were putting their lives together again after such sadness. They have mine and Jill's full and complete support and we are happy for them. Man, spending your entire life in political office, it really does prepare you for every situation. You know what I mean? Now it's unclear when these two stopped dating, but their breakup was reported shortly before Hunter's secret wedding to South African model, Melissa Cohen. This took place in May of 2019. Cohen, whoops, weird. Anyway, I don't know her. <laughs> By his side at Friday's event, his new wife, Melissa, who he married a mere six days after meeting her less than six months ago. And I'm thinking to myself, why? <laughs> what the f kind of a social life does this guy have? By November of that year, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette put out a story that said DNA test. They had confirmed that Hunter was the father to a baby with yet another woman. This time, London Alexis Roberts. 
Now, despite the timing of the news, Will Roberts explained that she didn't want to cause a media spectacle nor interfere with Joe Biden's presidential campaign. Nonetheless, she filed for a paternity test and child support. Now, Hunter, he denied the claims and asked the court to dismiss the complaint. But when the DNA test came back with a positive result, well, Hunter, he went radio silent on the issue. Now, since that newest wrinkle in his story, well, Hunter's dad, Joe, he has gone on to win his presidential bid and he will soon be returning to the White House. Despite the controversy surrounding his son, in terms of where Hunter goes from here, well, we wish him all the best. As addiction, it can lead people down some terrible paths. And with the amount of exposure the Bidens are going to be receiving over the next few years, well, all we can do is hope for the best. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're going to wrap up this video here because this, of course, is before they are famous. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!